Camelot331 here, and the cult of Cigna has gotten way, way worse. I can't even damn fathom this. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> it's pretty insane. Uh, some people have, have seen the Cigna stuff that actually work there, and have sent me some tasty stuff that I just can't even believe. I'm gonna be honest. Especially in contrast to what the executives and CEOs are making at these companies. Pretty much squeezing the employees dry for everything they're worth. Because that's what these companies do. Right? It's just what they do, baby. They need the Ferraris and the yachts. It's very important. And trust me, I also want Ferraris and yachts. All right? I'm not against the Ferrari life. But anyways, look, guys. Very important. I'm shadow banned on YouTube. So please, share this video. Give it the updoodle. Make sure you do that. And comment down below. Helps out your boy in every way, shape, and form. But... Let's get into the Cigna stuff, because I know you guys are interested. But first, we need a little bit of context here. So, Cigna, the CEO of Cigna, okay, this is how much they made. David Cordani made $1.5 million base pay. Now, you're thinking to yourself, that's not that much for a CEO? Ha ha ha. But $2.7 million bonus. Uh, I don't know. Is that a lot? Seems like a lot. Total compensation, $20 million dollars 20 million dollars son all right 20 million dollars it's a lot of money how much are the associates getting paid in bonus if anything <laughs> so this message is from charles berg okay charles berg check this out right here it says this year has been such an incredibly busy and important one for for our u.s government business who <laughs> well, I'm going to definitely get suicide. As I reflect on the past year, I'm grateful for all that you have done. Okay, and I'm impressed by you. So are you going to give me a bonus? I don't know. <laughs> when I joined Cigna earlier this year, it was immediately clear that our individual and family plans and Medicare and care allies businesses had some ambitious goals. As I look back, the list of our collective accomplishments is very long, and I am struck by the progress we have made across both businesses. Every accomplishment and win has enabled us to set ourselves up for growth. Now we must turn our attention to ensuring that every customer is treated like a beloved family member right from their first interaction. We want to ensure that their experience is outstanding and represents the best of each of us. Each of us. Achieving this level of support takes significant energy. It takes all of us coming in every day and being ready and willing to give our best effort to deliver a truly differentiated customer experience. I believe in this team and in the power of small positive actions that will build our momentum and make us the industry-leading government business I know we can be. During the holidays, please spend time with your family and friends and do what you love most and recharge your batteries to come back for the New Year's refreshed to serve our customers. Right? Doesn't seem too spicy, but... It's corporate jargon. That's why I wanted to talk about this. It's very important. Corporate jargon is one of my most hated things. It's all fake stuff to brainwash people into thinking thinking some stuff. But that was one person. Okay, that was one person, Charles Berg. What does someone else have to say? Will it be the same terminology that we've grown to know and love? Almost like it's copy and pasted. Keep in mind, it's a cult. It's meant to brainwash you into being a slave. Before we get to that, remember... We're going to find out at the end of this video how they repay their normal associates and employees in this, these places for Cigna. How do they repay them? Instead of the $14 million compensation or $19 million compensation or the millions and hundreds of thousands of dollars the executives get for bonuses and stock options. This is from Nicole Jones, I believe it says. It says, the new year is a time to pause and reflect. Pause and reflect. Number one on my list is my family. I couldn't be more grateful for my son and my husband. The second on my list is my team. I have an incredible lead team of direct reports. They are my secret sauce. The people I turn to without hesitation to help me generate ideas and solve problems. They are all invaluable to me, except I will not be giving them bonuses. I am also grateful for the amazing amazing legal and corporate affairs team the not so secret ingredient to our many accomplishments is the passion of all my colleagues bring to work every day all 70,000 Cigna team members around the globe I'm constantly in awe 
of the commitment and teamwork I witness across the company. Honestly, I would be in awe too if I had all these employees not getting bonuses or paid anything cool just to, just to give you guys your Ferraris, but that's fine. This right here says, the world is a bit overwhelming at times. Remembering there is kindness out there and seeing it every day at Cigna gives me strength. Except that kindness is not rewarded in payments for money. It's rewarded in a different way that you're going to see later. And then it says, lastly, I'm grateful for clothes with elastic waistbands because you have to relate to your employees because it's all fun and games, right? I'm telling you, man, check this out, though. All right. It's about to get wild. All right. It's about to get wild. This right here is the start of how we repay the people that perform at Cigna, which choose Cigna over their family and their friends. How do we celebrate standout moments? Service milestone awards are given at years of service, 5, 10, 15, and every five years. Service anniversary recipi recipients will receive a Cigna standout email on their day of anniversary. Well, that's nice. They send you an email when you've been there 15 years. <laughs> this email will direct them to the Cigna standout platform where they'll be able to view and select their award. Ooh. Their award. I wonder what the award could be. When the Cigna standout system generates a recognition PURL, an email notice goes out to the honorees, immediate team, and supervisor. Supervisors are then encouraged to forward the PURL to other coworkers. Team members and other colleagues can post a message, share a memory, or add a video to the honorees page to help them celebrate the wonderful accomplishment. Oh, the wonderful accomplishment. To give you some perspective here, to give you some perspective, I was at GameStop for 10 years. 10 years. Well, I was there for 11 years, but I, I got a 10-year award. The 10-year award for 10 years of my life, all right, was a $50, $50 gift card to Buffalo Wild Wings. Now, look, I did spend it on some wingies because your boy loves hot wings, all right? But imagine that. The CEO got paid $169 million to step down and resign a few years ago. Two years ago, maybe? I got hot wings. Look, it's a, it's a trade-off, right? It depends on how much you like hot wings, I'm going to be honest. But I don't know if I like them as much as that. I would pretty much rather be able to get like millions of hot wings instead of just one order, but it's fine. That bitch be expensive as hell at Buffalo Wild Wings. So check this out. Here's just a quick list. These are people that have been there 25 years, 30 years, 35 years, hot diggity damn. I believe there's a 40-year uh, badge on here as well, but I don't have it on here. This is a long time. How are these people rewarded for their long-term service at Cigna? How? Before we get to that, guys, before we get to that, I ask you to like the video, share it with you boys, and also you need some context here. The person that sent me this, said you get roughly 75 points a year, okay? 75 points a year to use on their award side, okay? But they also said sometimes you'll get no points. <laughs> it depends on your performance, obviously. So if you have a bad year, you ain't getting no damn points, all right? So keep that in mind and you do the math, all right? Here's what you can get, boys, if you perform well, <laughs> For 35 years at Cigna. You can get, you can get my favorite, a Okai Neon electric scooter for 3,400 points. So, if you happen to be at Cigna for 35 years, roughly, you'll be able to afford the scooter. Now, your geriatric ass is probably 75 years old, and I don't advise you getting on a scooter at that age, but it's fine. It's free. Or, you can get a router for 400 points after maybe 5 to 10 years. Or you can get a monitor, but to get the ultra, the ultra dual, uh, double monitor, the ultra wide, you got to be there for at least a hundred years. <laughs> oh my God. Just give them a damn bonus. A Christmas bonus of two grand, five grand after it's taxed. It's, it's nothing. It's nothing. All right. Cigna themselves like to claim that they donated over $120 million to charities last year, which is noble, but we all know it's a tax write-off. That's the only reason corporations do it, and usually they'll ask you to do it at the pin pad at the register, like places like Publix. You want to donate to the Children's Foundation. One dollar, round it up, baby. That's a tax write-off for Publix, not for you. You're paying for their taxes. That's what you're doing here, and that's what Cigna's doing. They could have taken that 120 million, or maybe even 60 million, even though it wouldn't have been as big as a tax write-off, 
and they could have given it given it to their employees instead of trying to get them a scooter after 30 years of employment. Imagine being at a place 30 years and they're like, congratulations, we're going to send you a fancy email. You can share it with your friends for some weird reason. Look, guys, I've been at da, da. And then also you can get yourself a damn scooter. Now, if you wreck it, you're probably going to die and break your hip because you're 80 years old at this point. But still, I'll never understand this. We went through Cigna before how every comment on the weird-ass video they posted was the same comment. Like they were bots used to brainwash people into productivity. And look, I understand. <laughs> I get what you're trying to do, but it's creepy. It's really, really creepy, and it comes off as creepy as hell. Cigna profits a lot of money, man. I don't see an issue with throwing a Christmas bonus here, too. Shit, GameStop even bonused my ass sometimes. I had a great year in 2015, and they bonused me like seven grand. Granted, I took home like three because of taxes. But still, that's GameStop, and GameStop sucks. You mean to tell me GameStop, one of the worst-paying retail jobs in existence, has higher bonuses than employees at Cigna? Cigna profits 20,000% more than GameStop did in its best year ever. Take that to the bank, baby. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. What do you guys think? Very important to share this. F tell your friends about it. How do you feel? It feels weird to me. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Get the hell on it, dog on it. Bye. Yeah. Probably showed that before, but he's beautiful. He's a beautiful boy.